Hi, hello, this is Dr. Prasad Pothiyillam, Dr. Prasad P. Continue my class on uh, research methodology and intellectual property rights, which is with subject code 21 RMI 56, offered by Visheshwaraya Technological University. And this is the sixth part, sixth part uh, of module 1, which is I am covering with uh, questions. Uh, connecting to the course outcome and giving the answer scheme, discussing uh, the answer scheme and giving some points uh, which is need to be connected to that answer scheme. Okay, so this is the uh, syllabus of VTU for module 1, uh, uh, completed uh, till finding and uh, solving uh, now, I mean ethics in engineering research, then continuing ethics in engineering research practices type of research misconduct and ethical issues will follow after this video connecting to the course outcome the education it is based on uh, the outcome based education so you should know what are the outcomes and how it is connected to the, the topics okay study material it is freely available this is the textbook which is referred this is the textbook that i am referring Okay, it's freely available for download. Uh, you can get, you will get the PDF. You can uh, keep the PDF ready with you. Now, the sixth topic uh, that is ethics in engineering research. The question is framed. Uh, describe the significance of ethics in engineering research, providing examples of how ethical principles guide the researcher. Explain the historical development of international rules for research ethics including their impact on conduct of research. Okay, so you can uh, uh, trim this question actually, describe the significance of ethics in engineering research, that is it all. Okay, it is connected to course outcome 1, uh, level is RBTL 4 and it can be asked for 10 marks. Answer key which is given that what are the ethics, means ethics means what, in the international rules or for the research ethics uh, some of the questions that we are facing uh, when we say the authors the people who are working on that publishing the research paper some of the rules and quotes what and all that, that idea we will get from that and why it matters why ethics required in general these are the topics which is distributed for answering this particular question okay now what are ethics Ethics, they are like a set of rules which help us to know what is okay and what is not okay. What is good, what is not good. That is called as ethics. It helps us to figure out what is right and what is wrong. Okay. The, the, one of the movie actor, uh, his uh, videos and his, his interview, he even said something, uh, this is wrong. That's the same thing. You should know what is right and what is wrong. Okay, so these are the ethics. It's a bit like a wise saying or teachings, similar to the sayings of uh, uh, Chanakya. These rules it, it will guide us or our behavior and will make us to take good choices in life. Now the international. Uh, uh, topics, uh, uh, international rules uh, for uh, 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 the given uh, uh, research ethics. Uh. Okay, there have been international rules about doing research. We call it as ethical guideline. It was actually the uh, Nuremberg Code, uh, which is in 1947 which tells about the importance of the ethical guidelines in research. 1947 means it was during the World War II, okay, where the Nazi people, the German people, the doctors, they are conducting uh, crazy experiments with the soldiers to make their uh, soldiers uh, getting more uh, energy or uh, something like that i am not going in detail about that you can study that in detail you can go through that uh, uh, topic uh, not not that much good to 
go through that uh, what and uh, they, they did uh, even something uh, uh, which they are hiding also that uh, story is also available which is even people we don't want to present it uh, to others such stories are also there so in 1947 uh, they laid a, a foundation for the ethical research uh, in which the human beings or human subjects are involved as a as a trial uh, a direct trial to the human uh, uh, body or human uh, subject for to do that uh, certain uh, rules or regulations are framed and today we have more a comprehensive set of guidelines uh, uh, like uh, the uh, declaration of Hel uh, helsinki and uh, the belmont report uh, which say that uh, research ethics worldwide research ethics it tells about worldwide research ethics not uh, individual countries has got their own ethics for example if i say uh, 1600 uh, the british royal society they highlighted uh, uh, historical development of uh, research ethics in the early days of uh, such a scientific exploration uh, uh, there were uh, uh, no such standard rules uh, to share uh, the research findings okay once the man human being that was neglected every day one or the other findings you are doing and similar findings people are doing there was no sharing or if they have somebody assisted there was no such rules was framed to share the findings so the shift towards giving uh, the credit who is the first sharer who is the first one first person uh, to be identified uh, then uh, uh, the one who actually introduced it first uh, giving him the first credit all those things uh, are uh, started uh, introduced uh, and now it has got a transparency and it will become more much more fair everyone knows their uh, rules everyone knows their role in that particular finding and we call it as the ethical principle in research okay so uh, about uh, the authorship is a very tricky question uh, about the authorship authorship means when we publish the research finding uh, whom should whose name should come first whose name should come second uh, like that uh, uh, whatever uh, discussion happens we call it as uh, uh, tricky questions about uh, authorship it's actually a challenge challenge for the authors uh, when they do collaboration the people who collaborate also will uh, feel that my, my my contribution is more okay so it's a very tricky question about authorship which uh, uh, which uh, highlights the contemporary challenges in the uh, research ethics uh, in most of the collaborative environment when people do collaborative research different field people work together uh, it will determine whose name should be listed as the first or the or in what order it has to be kept it is a very sensitive issue it has to be solved before they start for example if it is a research happening in genome gene, uh, gene studies a uh, lot of people uh, required to involve uh, in that such project uh, because it is a long elaborate work uh, okay time consuming elaborate work so a lot of people uh, different people will be involved all should get the equal credit so, uh, okay so the contributing uh, people they should be given uh, uh, fair uh, uh, they sh should be have fairness in that and uh, it, it that only indicate the integrity of the research the recognition of the contributor how to recognize them uh, uh, the contribution how to analyze it uh, who is the best contributor right and that that they only sit decide and uh, they have to frame a role that about that so in most of the academic in, uh, institutes, uh, academy, there is always a pressure from the management, uh, either you publish or perish. Okay, how much we can publish sitting in uh, doing uh, the uh, handling the academic as well as then doing research. So we'll somewhere we'll try, uh, we'll not get enough uh, support. So we may have to collaborate with other uh, people, other institution people then again it's the same uh, the same issues will come sometimes uh, if i tell in terms of a student engineering student 
a student studying in a mechanical stream he may have to collaborate with a student working in electronic stream as well as a student working in a computer science stream because they need some coding they need some electronic uh, component even they collaborate with electrical uh, students uh, stream uh, students they need to work together uh, for a particular uh, project which they intended then also such complications are uh, nowadays it is arising uh, with uh, the universities uh, they may not allow to mix different uh, uh, field students together all those com complications are, will be there so a rule has to be further framed for such such small, small issues then only it will be uh, going smoothly okay so uh, sometimes uh, people might help a lot with the such but not write the paper so to whom to give credit they are not writing the paper so that also somebody has to identify some university even have rules about the co-authorship to prevent the cheating also people will cheat they will tell that they will simply include their name without doing any work or somehow they will highlight their name which you can call it as a part of cheating only now rules and codes it is national as well as international ethic codes are the different com uh, countries or different universities have uh, their own uh, courts uh, towards the, uh, the research ethics and the ethical considerations for example if i take uh, the united states they have a common rule the indian government they here also we have a separate common rule in uh, handling or uh, taking uh, using uh, human beings as a subject a separate common rule a common international rule is there but our own uh, com uh, government's rule is also there so these courts are not rule as such courts uh, provide specific guidelines uh, based on the cultural or the legal context of, of uh, different regions okay so different countries and university have their own courts for research activities to uh, become a responsible uh, it is different from that of uh, a responsible conduct of research but the difference is there between uh, rules the courts as well as the uh, responsible conduct of uh, research okay so research uh, ethic is uh, about making sure that uh, it is used uh, in the right way while responsible conduct of research is about how research is done okay not uh, how the uh, research outcome how it is done that conduct is uh, different okay now why it matters uh, why it matters uh, that uh, the res uh, responsible conduct of research uh, distinguishes uh, it is it uh, separates or uh, we make it make us clear about uh, the research ethics and uh, responsible conduct of research Res responsible conduct of research it uh, say about uh, border principles of integrity okay now why it matters uh, for the real world impact of it to this and ethics it has got many practical implications uh, one uh, one example if i tell uh, the artificial intelligence there are so many ethical considerations that we are we are have facing uh, because uh, ai can be biased it, it can uh, whether it protect our privacy or not that doubt also comes ensures that ai technologies are used for uh, other purposes uh, war related purposes these are possible misuses of AI. It can be say, say, uh, say that war on the surveillance uh, or uh, the making uh, weapons, uh, making a weapon autonom autonomous weapons, working itself uh, without uh, informing us. Uh, it only decides and uh, fires. Okay, should not happen. Underscore the all these underscores the importance of ethical uh, guidelines. Okay, so why do ethics in engineering research matters because they help us to do good research and make sure it is used for the 
for the uh, right reasons which also make sure everyone gets the uh, credit uh, what they sorry suddenly my ppt went out of this thing uh, powerpoint presentation it is uh, uh, this is they they reserve for their hard work they deserve it but they are not getting uh, such cases also okay then it requires okay so thank you very much part 6 become a trend now okay it was part 5 no part 6 thank you please subscribe and uh, support me my name is dr prasad p my youtube channel name my intuition 4865 do subscribe to this youtube channel share this video to others of fifth semester students to understand the topic the reference material textbook in how it is there to understand how to connect it to the question related questions to a topic which is given in the syllabus that work i am doing thank you very much